Every year, Marquez Brownlee releases his smartphone awards video, where he gives out awards to his top picks for the best big phone, the best compact phone, the best battery phone, the best designed phone, the best budget phone, the biggest bust of the year, and the MVP, the most valuable player in the phone landscape. And this got me thinking, every great phone deserves a great cell phone plan to go with it, right? So in this video, that's exactly what I'll be covering the best cell phone plans to complement Marquez Brownlee's smartphone award winners. For each phone, I'll be recommending two plans. I'll recommend one premium plan. This is the flagship plan from Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile themselves. And I'll recommend one great budget option. This will provide an excellent value for people looking to save some money on their cell phone plan. Now, that said, there will be spoilers in this video because we need to talk about the winning phones in order to discuss the best cell phone plans that will complement them. So if you haven't seen Marquez Brownlee's video already, I highly suggest you check it out, linked in the video description. He goes into more detail about why he chose the phones he did and runners up in each of the categories. With that said, let's just jump right into it, starting off with the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra, Marquez Brownlee's best big phone of the year award. This won the award for its excellent use of space and the sheer amount of features Xiaomi was able to pack into their huge phone. Now that said, one of the key features Xiaomi neglected to include was support for key 5G and LTE bands for use in the United States. It's only got five of nine AT&T LTE bands, four of six T-Mobile LTE bands, and three of five Verizon LTE bands. Additionally, Verizon only accepts devices on their network that have gone through their Verizon device certification process. And you can bet Xiaomi definitely did not do that, so you can forget Verizon with this phone. That leaves AT&T and T-Mobile. I think T-Mobile is the best network here. And to get the premium experience, I'm recommending T-Mobile Magenta Plus. This includes 50 gigs of priority data, 20 gigs of hotspot data, up to HD video streaming, and international support, so if you do happen to travel abroad, once that's okay again, uh, this phone should work on T-Mobile's roaming networks internationally. Now, this plan is expensive at $85 per month, so if you're looking for a budget option, I recommend Mint Mobile. Their $30 plan includes 35 gigs of high-speed data, and it includes some of the same great features as T-Mobile, including support for the mobile hotspot, voice over LTE, Wi-Fi calling, and more. The one thing I will say about Mint Mobile is video streaming is capped at standard definition, but you can get around this by using a VPN like ExpressVPN linked in the video description. Next up, we have the iPhone 12 mini. This won the best compact phone of the year award because it packed a flagship level experience and one of the smallest form factors we've seen in 2020. Now, what's also excellent about the iPhone 12 mini is it is a champion of 5G and LTE band support. It includes all eight 5G bands and all 15 LTE bands for use in the United States. You can literally use this phone on whatever carrier you want and you'll be totally fine. That said, here are two of my top picks. For the best premium plan, I suggest you consider Verizon's $90 Get More Unlimited plan. This plan includes 50 gigs of priority data with support for millimeter wave 5G. This plan also includes 30 gigs of dedicated hotspot data. And as a bonus for iPhone users, Apple Music is included for free with this plan. Not only that, you're also getting Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus bundled as well. So it's a great value for getting all of your entertainment and a premium network experience to complement your new iPhone 12 mini. Now, in terms of the best budget option, I'm recommending US Mobile. US Mobile actually uses the Verizon network for coverage, and the two plans I suggest you check out are their $30, 30 gig plan and their $50, 50 gig plan. What's great about the $50 plan is it includes 10 gigs of international data roaming with US Mobile's international eSIMs. And that's another reason US Mobile is perfect for iPhone 12 mini. iPhone 12 mini supports eSIM and you can easily activate it on any one of US Mobile's international eSIM data plans, including plans that are available in the United States. So if you just need a little bit of data, boom, you can pop it on your eSIM on iPhone 12 mini. Next up, we have the Asus ROG Phone 3. This won Marquez Brownlee's best battery award for having a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. This phone also happens to be great for media consumption with up to a 120 hertz refresh rate display, great for gaming, 
and with two front firing speakers. Great for watching movies, TV shows, YouTube, or more. So you're gonna want a plan that supports HD video streaming and fast data speeds so you can have low latency when you're playing your online games. Something interesting to note about the ROG Phone 3 is it actually lacks support for Verizon's millimeter wave 5G bands. It only works with the sub six gigahertz 5G networks available on AT&T and T-Mobile. So with that said, you could go either AT&T or T-Mobile here, but in my opinion, AT&T is the move here with their $85 unlimited elite plan. This plan includes 100 gigabytes of priority data, which is the most available in the industry right now. You're getting 30 gigs of dedicated hotspot data, and you're getting HBO Max included for free with your plan. So you can enjoy all of your favorite shows available on HBO Max on your big, beautiful Asus ROG Phone 3. For the best budget option, I'm actually switching networks to the T-Mobile network. I'm recommending their $50 unlimited plan. From my testing, this actually has the same speed and performance as T-Mobile's more expensive Magenta and Magenta Plus plans. So why pay more when you can get the same experience for less? It's a great value plan. It supports plenty of the features you need. The one downside is this plan is limited to standard definition video streaming. Now the ultimate hack to get around this is to use a VPN. ExpressVPN is one of the top rated VPNs for streaming Netflix content and using a VPN allows you to stream your favorite movies or TV shows at full HD quality with no limits whatsoever. I've been enjoying using ExpressVPN, and if you're interested in checking them out, you can get three months free by signing up at expressvpn.com slash Stetson. This comes out to just $6.67 per month, which is way cheaper than the $3 per day T-Mobile is charging, and even the $10 per month that Metro by T-Mobile is charging for their HD streaming pass add-ons. So check it out, link in the video description, and if you choose to sign up using my affiliate link, I appreciate your support. Next, we have the Note 20 Ultra. This won the Best Design Award, and Samsung is actually really great about including support for 5G and LTE bands. This phone is no different. It's got seven out of eight 5G bands and 14 out of 15 LTE bands being used here in the United States. You can pick pretty much any plan you want and the Note 20 Ultra will work great. That said, it does have a big, gorgeous display, optimal for consuming content and streaming video, and it's got some excellent cameras on the back, which are gonna be great for capturing and sharing posts on social media. So you probably wanna plan with great video streaming capabilities and with a lot of priority data for sharing your content. We already talked about it. I think AT&T Unlimited Elite is a great plan to consider here. Now, there's a second kind of user I feel like would pick up a Note 20 Ultra. This could be a business person who wants a premium flagship phone, but perhaps doesn't necessarily need a premium plan to go with it. Maybe they work at home and they have great Wi-Fi all the time, or maybe they're in the office and they have Wi-Fi there, so they don't actually need a whole lot of data. For those people, I'm gonna suggest Ting's set five gig plan. This is 25 bucks a month and includes five gigs of high-speed data. And what's gonna make this plan great is it supports all the features you need, like voice over LTE, Wi-Fi calling, and the mobile hotspot. Ting is known for their excellent customer service and support, and you can choose to use this plan on either the Verizon or T-Mobile network, depending on what offers better coverage in your area. Next, we have Pixel 4a. This won the best budget phone of the year award, and like with iPhones, Pixels are notorious for offering excellent support for all LTE bands. Pixel 4a is no different. It supports all 15 out of 15 LTE bands being used here in the United States. So you can pick pretty much any plan you want. I think a big plan that a lot of people are gonna think about when they think of Pixel is going with Google Fi, the phone carrier by Google. But I'm actually gonna recommend against that. Google Fi, in my opinion, has become more expensive as other plans have come down a lot in price, and the Google Fi subreddit has basically turned into a support forum. Unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of posts sharing poor experiences with Google Fi, whether it's losing phones, trading in a device and not getting credit, or having an issue with service, and just not being able to reach someone at Google Fi to get that issue resolved. So I think Google Fi, their customer service, could use a lot of support, and the plan is more expensive. So instead of getting Google Fi, I suggest Ting's Flex Plan. This plan is $10 for unlimited talk and text, half the price of Google Fi, and then $5 per gig of data. Again, half the price of Google Fi. 
Plus with Ting, you're getting full feature service and support including domestic roaming data. And Ting has built a reputation around their excellent customer service and support. So I really do feel that plan will get you a much better experience with Pixel 4a. Another great value plan to consider with a more budget option is the cheapest unlimited data plan currently available. And that is Visible's $40 unlimited data plan. You're getting true unlimited data with true unlimited hotspot data, though hotspot speeds are capped at five megabits per second and you're getting great feature support. The one thing to note is Visible is deprioritized. So during times of network congestion, Visible customers will have slower speeds than those people who are paying for the premium Verizon plans. Next, we have the Galaxy Note 20. This won Marquez Brownlee's Bust of the Year award because it basically shipped with a flagship price, but more mid-tier specs. Still, this is a Samsung phone. It has great support for 5G and LTE bands, so you could use it on any plan you want. But if you're getting a bust phone, uh, maybe you want a bust cell phone plan to go with it. And my bust of the year award would go to Boost Mobile. Boost was owned by Sprint and offered true unlimited plans at the beginning of the year. But when Sprint was merged with T-Mobile, Boost was sold to Dish. And as a result of that, Boost had to make their true unlimited data plans capped at 35 gigs. So people who had signed up thought they were getting an unlimited plan and then they got a 35 gig plan and that caused so much outrage. If you're looking for a real plan though, I would recommend Visible. Their $40 unlimited plan is one of the most affordable options available. I also wanna give a shout out to Red Pocket here. They offer super affordable plans that use either the Verizon, AT&T or T-Mobile networks for coverage. So you choose what network you want when you sign up. And if you're able to commit to a longer 12 month option, then Red Pocket will over double the amount of data that's included with many of their plans. Next, we have Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 2. This won the most improved award for the sheer number of improvements Samsung made to their second generation folding tablet device. What's surprising here though, is while Samsung has been known for including great support for 5G and LTE bands, the Z Fold 2 is actually missing four of AT&T's LTE bands. These are supplemental bands, so they're not part of AT&T's core LTE network, but considering the Z Fold 2 includes all 5G and LTE bands on the Verizon and T-Mobile networks, I think those networks are gonna be the move if you're looking to pick up a Z Fold 2. So I'm recommending you consider Verizon's $80 Play More Unlimited plan. This is $10 less than the Get More plan I recommended for the iPhone 12 mini because, well, I don't think Samsung users are as likely to need that Apple Music subscription. The Play More plan still includes 50 gigs of priority data, 15 gigs of hotspot data, all the features you'd expect, as well as the Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN Plus bundle. In terms of an affordable plan, I think we should look to the most improved carrier of the year, and in my opinion, that is US Mobile. They did tremendous work improving the rates for their custom plans, and they launched their $15 two and a half gig plan and $30 10 gig plan, which they then promptly updated to be a $15 three and a half gig plan and a $30 30 gig plan. And US Mobile introduced their first ever family discount on their unlimited plans, along with the perks of getting your favorite subscription services included for free with the service. So yeah, I think US Mobile is a great option if you're a Z Fold 2 customer looking for something that's more affordable uh, and also a really great service. And lastly, we have the Galaxy S20 FE, which won the MVP of the year award. This phone combines some of the best specs, features, and performance at a reasonable price point for a great overall package. And I think a phone like this deserves cell phone plans that are really great too. Great value, great customer service, and great feature support. And my top picks are Visible's $40 unlimited plan, US Mobile's $15 three and a half gig plan, Mint Mobile's $30 35 gig plan, and Ting's $25 set five gig plan. All of these plans offer an excellent value for their service. They support plenty of the features you need, and they offer great customer experience as well. I've used all of these plans myself and really enjoyed my time on them. Uh, so I definitely suggest you consider them if you're looking for a great value plan to complement your Galaxy S20 FE. And of course, you can scoop up a premium plan from Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, uh, and you'll get exactly what you expect. And that's gonna be it for this video. Click the like button if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Share this video with a friend so they know what are great cell phone plans to complement Marquez Brownlee's smartphone award winners of 2020. 
I'm Stetson. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.